Sorry, I'm finishing my bagel. All right, I'm done. I've, I've, I've come to appreciate um, other bagels. I bought them because they're carb heavy and uh, good for pre-cycling meals. Edible on the toilet. Uh, I know it's going to sound crazy. This is how much of a true believer I am. Given the time, sliced and toasted, in the morning, 5.42 a.m., straight out of the bagel bag and into my tummy. Don't even slice it. Don't even toast it. Just, just get the grains inside of me as fast as possible. Dempster's comes pre-cut. Do you know how much of a bootlicker you have to be to be advertising and astroturfing for Dempster's for free? We all know it sucks, bro. You can't, like, psyop your way into making the bagels taste different. If you want people to start liking Dempster's, tell them to start making them good. Now, do they have their place? Yes. You buy them on January the 10th. They go bad on January the 25th. That's incredible. And they taste pretty much the same the whole way through. That's a miracle of modern science. But let's not start saying, you know, this stuff is as good as what you would get from a, a bakery or something like that. That's ridiculous. Heard Banda was hard today. Zimbiji, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. This is um, 1991 with 37 milli views. Very hard par five. Okay. I'll just be realistic. We're not gonna get it uh, just from the, the drums. Let's go bass. I like it. Wait, wait, no, I, I'm gonna know, I know this. Da -do -do. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know this. Yet, I 100%, I swear to you, there's no glancing happen. Give me the guitar. I love the 90s. Call me the Sklar Brothers the way I love the 90s. It's knocking on Heaven's Door by Guns N' Roses. Ah hey, ah hey, ah hey, hey. Yeah. People were like, I got it on six. What do you thought? That song's famous, bro. Oh, I forgot. The only thing that uh, people under the age of 35 listen to from the 90s is the damn Blue album. 37 million views is not famous. Bro, 98% of this song's popularity happened in the pre YouTube era. 37 million views on YouTube. 135 billion views uh, on MTV. 1991 fucked me up. I honestly thought Guns N' Roses are from the 60s. What the fuck are you talking about? From the 60s? All the leaves are, all the leaves are brown and the skies are gray and the skies are gray. You really thought that was the same decade as a knees, knees? Come on. I could see you thinking they're from the late 70s, but the 60s, come on. Me too before I hit 16. Well, that's fair enough. I thought 80s. I think 80s is fair. They probably have some stuff from the, the late 80s. I thought it was Vietnam protest music. You <laughs> will be mine. What are you talking about? All of their songs are about drugs and intercourse. That's it. They, they've never written a song with a stand. I don't think there's a single message in, in any Guns N' Roses songs. They do have, I'm not knocking uh, Guns N' Roses. They got some riffs, at least, and Axl Rose had it for a while. No doubt about it. What about Civil War? That song was for the uh, Marvel movie. By the way, for those of you who don't have access to Letterboxd, I just uploaded my newest score, finished it on the bike today. Patton from 1970. Gargantuan performance by the inimitable George C. Scott. 53, 54-year-old movie, I suppose, but actually feels uh, fairly modern most of the time. I mean that in a positive way, not in a negative way. It doesn't feel like a Netflix original. That being said, I, I, I don't know. Just... It, it had, it, the performances had the sauce. The film itself didn't have 100% of the sauce for me. I wonder if I would have liked it more if I was a contemporary um, of, of its time. But I did give it a 4 out of 5.
I enjoyed it and the, the performance of George S. Patton has, has stuck in my brain. The movie itself, I thought it was great, but just missing that one little extra secret sauce. Also, the dude who plays General Bradley. Why don't men have uh, noses like that anymore? Was there something that people were eating in like the 1920s that led to them having that like, like a, a normal nose? And then at the end of the nose, it's like so bulbous. It was not cocaine. You actually, this is the same people who were like Guns N' Roses was uh, from the 1960s. <laughs> is alcohol? Alcohol does it to your nose. It goes like normal nose where it's just cartilage. And then the, the end of it is like a balloon that's been blowing out. Like it looks like somebody, it was built by like a glass blower or something. How do you not know this? Because I, we live in the modern era. Those noses don't exist anymore, bro. The redness, I've always seen in like the political tar cartoons, the redness, which always anno annoyed me. Because as a pale guy, especially when I was a teenager, I used to get like, like breakouts on my nose. And in the winter time, my nose would turn like so red. And I was like, these people are gonna think I'm drunk. Meanwhile, I'm like in 11th grade. They're not going to think you're, you're drunk. <laughs> They're like, we know you're not drunk. You're wearing a, a Hurley short sleeve t-shirt over a Hurley long sleeve t-shirt. We're just playing sap. I was wondering what was going on with the Carl Malden's nose in the 1970 film Patton. People told me it's called rhino phlema, rhino phyma. A skin disorder characterized by a large, red, bumpy, or bulbous nose. The exact cause is unknown. Meanwhile, everybody told me that it's caused by alcohol. Healthline.com says the exact cause is unknown. You were throwing Carl Malden under the bus. The dude's probably been dead for like 35 years, but still. It develops in certain individuals with an unknown predisposition from long-standing rosacea. Although it has commonly been presumed to be linked to alcoholism, a direct causal relationship between the condition and consumption has not been substantiated. Alcohol may cause increased flushing in those affected. You've been throwing people under the bus! And then somebody in chat, back me up here, chat. Somebody in chat, one of you said, how did you not know that? Well, it turns out you've been laboring under a false assumption for your entire life. And on top of that, you've got the defect of character to assume that anybody who doesn't have your exact copy of knowledge is an idiot well it turns out sir you need to purchase a mirror then someone said it's only you don't see this because you live in an affluent area if you lived in an impoverished area you'd see this all the time i'm i'm first off thanks for the compliment but i know that you meant it as an insult i'm taking strays no matter what this is medicine bro people were were firing ballistas at me you see the level of false confidence we got? And at, at 9.31 a.m. on a Thursday morning, this is crazy. I do need more old friends. That's honestly, that's why I was a little bit late, later than usual this morning. I was salting my sidewalk. Hello, Corey. I was salting my sidewalk. It's, it may snow. I, here's the thing. You might say, uh, it always says there's going to be flurries and then like it never happens. Here's the thing, okay? I bought this salt in... August, okay? I'm gonna use it. I, I, I pop that tub open. It has like a polar bear on the front of it going rawr. It's supposed to be like minus 10 um, and we're supposed to at least get flurries. And then I got a lot of like elderly neighbors. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna be a good neighbor. I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to fall. I'm gonna, I'm just saying that when they go for their afternoon walk, they will see the salt and they will be like, this guy has our best interest in mind. It's a way to create more like uh, positive associations with my neighbors. Are you in an HOA? No, there's like, it's, a, it's like a soft HOA. There's no, there's no formal ratifications, but the neighbors get together. I'm sure they have discussions. I'm sure there's a little bit of, of gossip when something untoward happens. And I, you know, I just want to keep my life as simple as possible. So. Whenever there's a frictionless way for me to improve my relationship with my neighbors, I like to do so. You should know salting is bad for the environment. I'm gonna tell you straight up, I dead ass don't care. You know why? 
70% chance you live in the United States of America. Saw an article yesterday. Did you know that recycling programs in America have a 43% participation rate? 43%. Part of that is because many municipalities in the United States don't offer recycling programs, which is insane to me. Even when I lived out in the middle of the woods, a big truck came by and took our recycling. Secondly, in situations where there are recycling programs, participation rates averaged 57%. That means one out of two houses, essentially, are actually using the recycling program that is set up by their city. So I'm not taking any environment shaming from the United States of America. You take your own problems in your own backyard and you solve them. Up here in Vancouver, Corey, what's our recycling rate in Vancouver? Look at this. Over 201,000 net tons collected in Recycle BC's packaging and paper product program resulting in a recovery rate of 86.2%. Holy. You know what the recovery rate was in, in the same article I read? The recovery rate for recyclable containers in the United States of America? It was 25%. That means some of you motherfuckers, statistically, who are like, salt is bad for the, the concrete that you put it on, are throwing your aluminum cans in the fucking trash can, you disingenuous so-and-sos. So I'm simply refusing to hear it. The buck stops here, brother. Don't mess with me. My machismo's at an all-time high. I just finished watching uh, uh, Patton. You can't tell me nothing. And they really forgot how to play this game. Sorry, let's go to in the uh, Super Auto Pets Pro mode. Oh, in this situation, I get it's a 72.3% repeating chance, of course. If we buy garlic and put it, that's a good marginal value. What are you watching this? You've been on this. Let me check your account. Okay, you're, you made your account on this website eight years ago. You're not bored of this shit yet? I'm going to go mid and buy a Battle Fury because Battle Fury gives cleave, which is really going to increase my rate of farm. Bro, you're 33 years old. Can we talk about something a little bit more important? You know you get one life on planet Earth. Can we can we have some fun conversations? You never go Battle Fury mid? See, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. Why not? It seems like it would be good. Or is Battle Fury just for, um, just for junglers? Center shouldn't be farming that much? You know, back in my day, that wasn't the case. Back in my day, you would send an anti-mage mid you would not run a, uh, a ganker mid. You would run a ganker as support in the bot lane, and then they would come mid pre-level 6 in order, to, uh, in order to help the mid laner. You should play Dota in 2024? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. Do it, even the pros don't play Dota in 2024, right? Isn't it like a commercial necessity that they play League like all year and then they scrim Dota behind closed doors to get ready for the international? Nah, we ain't going Big Mole. And I'm not drinking any freaking Merlot. You get out of here, I'll go Big Sheep. That's as much as I'm willing to compromise. Me when mutton costs $20? Can I, can I ask you a genuine question? What is mutton? Mutton is meat from a sheep over two years old. British ass, European sounding meat. Why, why don't we consume mutton in North America? Does it taste like dog water? We eat lamb here, not as much as they do in Europe for sure, but it's not that good. It's not as good as lamb. I'd at least like to give it a try. Can I tell you, by the way, a, a lot of English people were a little bit displeased with the way I spoke about um, British Chinese food. I'm just coming from a place of curiosity. I did receive a DM from a, uh, a longtime viewer, acquaintance of mine that lives in England. They said, this is what the DM said, unprompted. British Chinese food for what it's worth. Almost all white people order chips with their meal as a side. So that's the first thing that I feel like, if we're getting down to brass tacks, that would blow the American mind. The idea that you would go to a Chinese restaurant and order Chinese food and then also a side of french fries is crazy. About 5 to 10% of the adult population actively orders them instead of fried rice or noodles. The food is tasty but greasy and unhealthy. This guy, we've got some commonalities. As Shaw said, the British and the Americans are... Two peoples divided by a common language. <laughs> um, 
There's a big difference in British culture between a takeaway and an actual restaurant as well. Almost no one orders the plates of beige and brown at a real restaurant. I would say that in, in North America, we, we don't have as much of that distinction when it comes to Chinese food. Most Chinese food restaurants in North America, there are, there are more sit-down ones that maybe are a little bit fancier, but most Chinese restaurants, the difference between eating in and taking it away is just where you consume the food. You're getting more or less the same menu at, uh, at either establishment. So it's good, we, we've got some, uh, we learned something together. There's, there's, there's more alike than apart, probably. And that's why it's funny. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That being said, let's just scrap this one. I was trying to stoke international tensions, okay? Um, you wouldn't catch us eating french fry sandwiches over here. Spaghetti sandwiches? Maybe. Maybe a spaghetti sandwich. They're not french fries, they're chips. This is what bothers me, because I get accused of trying to divide North America and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, I call them French fries, which is what they are. And everybody's like, no, they're not French fries, they're chips. You're the ones dividing us, bro. It's the same thing. Oh, one has a slightly different surface area to volume ratio. Relax. Everyone becomes Archimedes when it comes time to discuss the difference between chips and French fries. Doesn't make any damn sense. Double manatee? I was hoping for a double manatee. Uh, we're definitely not selling the jellyfish. Hang on, I should get this. Someone's at the door. So, a dude at my door who said his name, and then he said, is Dan here? And I was like, what? You know Dan? And he's not here. He lives in Michigan. Was it a stalker? No, he was old. <laughs> Just relax. Your fans are old? No, this guy was... He wasn't old, he was up there. Whatever euphemism you prefer. <laughs> above 70? Yes. You look good, don't get me wrong. He's above 70. I listed Vancouver as a prospective location to move to, but my wife said the Pacific Coast is ill-prepared for a tsunami, so we can't. What are your thoughts? Um, no disrespect to your wife, but that's not an intelligent thing to say. The Pacific Coast is probably the most prepared place for a tsunami in North America. It's also, like, the most likely to have a tsunami, but I imagine it also has the highest preparedness of any region. Yeah, like Toronto is not very prepared for a tsunami. <laughs> the risk of a tsunami in Toronto is, is like pretty infinitesimal, I guess. But the reason you shouldn't move here is because every time there's a thread on r slash Vancouver asking about like good pubs, good restaurants, stores to buy things, etc., etc., all the replies are like, nice question. Here's a place that closed down 11 years ago. Ah, I, w I miss, I used to go to this place and they had the best burger I've ever eaten in my entire life. But unfortunately, they shut down in 2012. Thanks for your help, Grandpa. I really appreciate it. We're trying to do a little magic in the here and now. Seattle subreddit trash also. Can I tell you something? <laughs> this is a true story. Got kind of annoyed with the toxicity of r slash Vancouver, r slash everything, every hobby at least. I said to myself, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to browse Reddit the way that we browsed the internet back in like uh, 1997. I'm just going to go to r slash uh, thing that I like and look at pictures of it. My ass went to r slash sandwiches. Top this month, all pictures of delicious sandwiches. And me, just me scrolling. Holy fuck, that looks good. Holy, that one looks good. Then I went... Top all time, and every single post was like an Instagram. The ingredients get slapped down on the cutting board. They slice it, and I said, "No, we're not doing that." Okay, I'm. This is no disrespect. We're going back to top this week. 
Show me pictures of sandwiches that you're eating. I don't need to see how you built the Italian sandwich. It's the cross section of it shows you its construction. It unveils the mystery of its own creation. I'm not going top all time where some chef influencer is like home brewing his own Dijon mustard. I don't need that. Just show me deli meats, crisp iceberg lettuce, moderately sliced tomato, so a couple of dill pickles, beautiful focaccia. That's all you need. Go on r slash sandwich and sort by controversial. I will say the only slight drama that I personally encountered on the subreddit was someone said, I'm going clubbing. And it was a picture of something that clearly was not a club sandwich. But people were still being pretty nice about it in the comments. They were like, hey, that looks delicious. Just so you know, that's not a club sandwich. But that's okay. I posted a Chicago dog the r slash food and didn't have one of the ingredients. Very quick way to make enemies. Me eating uh, Doritos out of the bag when someone posts a Seattle dog to r slash Seattle, but it has the wrong kind of cream cheese. Please read the sidebar rules. What's a Chicago dog again? Seattle dog is, is cream cheese. Chicago dog has a, a the em emblematic element is a pickle on the hot dog, or like within the confines of the, the roll. Tomato, onions, pickle, and one other thing. Tomato, pickle, onions, celery, salt, and a sport pepper. What is a sport pepper? I feel like street food got perfected with cool hot dogs. Not like a... Korean corn dog, and then it's got 17 different sauces, and then we roll it in, uh, like crushed cinnamon toast crunch, we put it back in the deep fryer, we pull it out, put some french fries on top of it, roll it again, you know? But like, hot dogs with a couple of cool ingredients, that, you, you know, they cost a reasonable price, and they end up, from, from the total time that you get in line, Order the food and get the food under five minutes. I've, I've hit peak cynicism when it comes to food trucks. It's, you know, it rains 200 days a year here. I don't want to stand outside in a line, pay the same price that I would pay in a restaurant, and then as soon as I order it, you throw that shit in the fryer, and then I got to stand there for like eight minutes while it gets up to temp. We need more things that are like... It, you already made it, I go up to you and I purchase it and then you give it to me. We need to, I really think, and maybe I'm okay being like a bit of an anachronism. I think for some things, we need to acknowledge that mankind has gone too far and our forebearers actually had things, that, not, not socially speaking, but culinarily speaking when it came to street food, we went too far. We used to only have hot dog carts. Then we got, uh, at least like throughout North America, we got gyros, you know? We got kebab. And everything was great. But you give them an inch, they take a mile. All of a sudden, they're, made, they're serving beef wellington out of a food truck in Oppenheimer Park. And you're like, mankind has gone too far. We need more hot dogs. The hot dog carts got put out of business by the damn burger carts, which got put out of business by the Eggs Benedict carts. And now all of a sudden, you know, I'm out there getting uh, Oysters Rockefeller at the food truck when all I wanted was like a, a 400 calorie snack. Bring back the Home Depot dogs. That's a damn good point. Although I will say some Home Depots in Ontario had a Harvey's inside of them. Ooh. Your dad takes you to Sears, you aren't getting shit. Maybe the Sears is attached to a mall, you go to the food court, you get to eat a few chicken balls from Manchu Wok or something like that, or New York fries. And don't even get me started that in, uh, in Canada, we love to name restaurants American names that are not actually associated with the food. Boston pizza, New York fries. I was going to say Sushi California, but that's a little bit of a regional pull. You go to a, a Harvey's, or sorry, you go to a Home Depot, first off, best selling, a uh, best smelling store of all time. And then you get a little Harvey's poutine on the way out. Now we're talking. If they had their way now, every Home Depot would have uh, an Obam pan and a banchan inside of it. I don't, I'm not disrespecting it. I simply don't need it. Mm. I sorted r slash sandwiches by top all time. And you're right, it's all Instagram ass. 
I, I tell no lies. Didn't you see the video about Dan's internet? Bar for bar, I may have made some slight exaggerations in the way that I discussed what was being discussed between Daniel and myself. But you can, you, the librarian did the work. They matched it up line for line, my retelling of the story versus the, the events as they actually happened. <clears throat> Which librarian video was this? It was the one that uh, Kate put on while we were eating dinner last night. Well, well, well. <laughs> and guess what we had for dinner? <laughs> Just, again, as someone who tells no lies, was it a little bit of raw fish wrapped in rice, wrapped in seaweed? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Maybe I don't have to say it. Okay. It has happened. You're gone. You're gone. You're here. You're here. Waffles go to the cockatoo, even though it's not that efficient. I've never really used the cockatoo effectively before this weekly, so we, we give it a chance to pop. I've used the cockatoo effectively. We have a Cosmopolitan Magazine Platinum member in the chat, and we love that for them. They have wiretapped the Mother Craddock party <laughs> and served... I don't know where... I, I, listen, I don't keep up with the, the memes as much as I should these days. I'm still not comfortable. I'm comfortable spelling it. I'm not comfortable saying it. C U N T. I can't say it. I know that it's it's a regional thing, and like in Australia and New Zealand, it's just something you say. What I don't. I mean, I here's the thing. It's not even like I'm not offended by the word, but. My culture growing up ingrained in me that that was basically like an assault on someone's honor to the extent that they could respond with violence. It was basically like one of the worst words you could use, especially to describe... If you use it to describe a woman, that's like a capital offense. And if you use it to, to describe a man, it's like slightly less bad, but still pretty bad. I just don't feel like it, because I've never really used it, I think. I don't think it would feel normal to come out of my mouth. I can say, fuck this, shit this, slurp up the shit, diarrhea milkshake. Like, that feels natural coming out of my mouth. Then you find out people in Scotland are just like, that's what they call their best friend. We called each other that at school, age 10. Where was your school? Because it, it probably was not in you know, Harrow Smith, Ontario. Let me put it that way. Melbourne? Yeah. That's Melbourne tech right there. That's old school Melbourne. You wouldn't get that in Melbourne these days. Am I right, fellow Aussies? I bet r slash Melbourne is just like r slash Vancouver. Best Georgie pie in the city? Well, there used to be a place down on Harbour Road. Fortunately, it closed down in 2013. Melbourne has little brother syndrome. Can I tell you? I can only speak to this from my perspective. I don't know if this replicates the perspective of all Canadians and Americans. My perception of Australian cities, as I know it. Canberra, the capital, is like our Ottawa. It's the capital. Nobody really knows why. Not necessarily a bad town, but kind of boring. Sydney is like... The New York City of Australia is like the economic center of the country. It has a lot of tourist attractions and stuff like that. And then Melbourne is like the Los Angeles, Vancouver of Australia. It's like the weather's a little milder. It's a little cooler there. Property's completely out of reach. It's, you you got to swap them. Sydney's the Vancouver. Melbourne's the New York. I live in Ottawa, would you say fuck me for? I like Ottawa! The Rideau Canal, the Locks, the Rideau Center, the McDonald's next to the Rideau Center. Hull, you, the Museum of Civilization, the Parliament Buildings. I saw Superbad in that movie theater, okay? I got a lot of respect for it. But everybody who lives in Ottawa tells me it's boring. Did you ever make the pilgrimage to Hooker Harvey's? I don't know. <laughs> 
VIP Daniel. I don't know what that is. I, I didn't spend much time in Toronto, okay? I don't know what, what Hooker Harvey's is. In terms of things that I've done at, in Toronto, I have been to Honest Ed's. I have been to Lee's Palace. Slammed a couple of tea beers at the Distillery District. Seen a few games at the Sky Dome. Walked into the Steam Whistle Brewery. They said it'll be two hours to wait for the tour, but you can sit at the bar. I said, why would I want to sit at the bar? This beer is not good. We'll go someplace else and get something that's actually tasty. Would you ever travel to Idaho? Um, if Boise State made the, um, the Marlboro Bowl, you could catch me in the stadium for sure. My God, we did it. I don't have to retire from Super Auto Pets. I was talking about it in the Peloton uh, sub-community in the Discord. I, I, for people who don't live in North America, I'm going to simplify America for you, okay? You don't need to learn all 50 states. There's actually, like, just a few things you need to know, okay? There are... We're going to split the United States into regions. We're going to make everybody angry. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to leave England alone for a minute, but not for long. Or Canada, for that matter. And Australia, congratulations. There are three American states you need to know. California, Texas, and Florida are their own beasts. Culturally distinct enough from the geographic areas that they reside in in order to have to know them singularly. New York, you do not have to know, but you do have to know New York City. That's special region number four. Apart from that, you need to know the Northeast. And the Northeast is basically Maryland up to Maine and west to the start of Pennsylvania. The South is... Sorry, put, I forgot, put Virginia into the Northeast as well. I apologize. North Carolina to Georgia, west to Oklahoma. That's the South. Washington and Oregon are the only states in the Pacific Northwest. Sorry, Idaho. Everything that I did not mention is part of the Midwest including Chicago, but Chicago might be like the, the next special region you need to know as well. So if you picture a map of the United States, the middle is all Midwest. There's a little bit of South in the Southeast, but not South enough to Florida. And then basically it's the Northeast and the Pacific Northwest and California. That's it. That's all you need. Hawaii. Yes. Congratulations, Hawaii. You're the newest state in the Midwest. What about Las Vegas? Midwest. And if you don't believe me, go to Las Vegas and tell me how many pink Stanley Cups you see when you're walking down the strip. Alaska? We will admit them into the Pacific Northwest. They have my permission. I actually don't hate it. Listen, every, the, the point is, ev it's not that everybody's going to be happy with it. It's that everybody is going to be roughly equally mad about it, which is how you know you've got a good compromise. So PA is the Midwest. Pennsylvania, west of Philadelphia, born and raised, is the Midwest. East of, of Philadelphia, including Philadelphia, is the Northeast. Washington, D.C., clearly part of the Northeast. I really don't care what Thomas Jefferson said to Alexander Hamilton, okay? Washington, D.C. is now in the Northeast. It's below the Mason-Dixon line, not the cultural Mason-Dixon line, my friend. Pittsburgh's coming for your head? Bro, bullshit, bro. I know yins identify as Midwesterners. Your football team is named after steel workers, bro. In the Northeast, it's all named after like heroes of the Revolutionary War and shit. They're part of the Midwest, bro. They wear big jackets in the wintertime that are not puffy. That's how you know they're in the Midwest. It's like you think that I would just say this stuff without giving any thought to it. I've been cooking this one up in the dome for a while. If anybody should be mad, it's Chicago, to be honest with you. Because Chicago is on the wrong side of where I drew the delineation. I said New York gets its own special area. Chicago, unfortunately, ends up being part of the Midwest. I'm sure Chicago would like to be in a special administrative district as well. 
I personally think that they're a huge city with Midwestern values, but I haven't, I haven't spent any time there. So it's based purely in ignorance, to be fair. Denver's the same vibe. Listen, it's no disrespect to Denver, okay? You can't compare Denver to Chicago. <laughs> we can't do that. Chicago have like, <laughs> like 11 million people in the metro area or something like that. I got nothing against Denver, bro. Do Canada next. I insult my own country all the time in exactly the same way. There are basically like, in terms of like special provinces that you need to know, there's even less because obviously like our population is a lot smaller. I can't believe we won that one. The um, east of Quebec is a region. That's the Atlantic region. Quebec and Ontario are special administrative zones. I'll give them the respect that I feel that they deserve. Manitoba, Alberta, Saskatchewan are Texas. British Columbia, I'm trying to avoid, you know, home bias here. Most of British Columbia is Montana. I don't even know if you need to know Vancouver as like a special administrative zone. It's just kind of like it's an aberration within the rest of the province. You could even, I would, the BC is, is somewhat culturally distinct from the provinces between it and, Man and it and Ontario. It's flyover country. Bro, what do you, maybe if you're taking an a airliner from Tokyo, how the hell are you going to fly over British Columbia? This shit starts at the end of the Pacific Ocean. You want a damn seaplane tailspin? And then everything uh, north of that, i.e. the three territories, are season one of the terror on FX. It's so messed up, you can't ever say you're 5'10 or less. You can barely even say you're 5'10. I think if, I, I, this is one of the conspiracy theories I talk about all the time. But if, if you were to ask the male population to self-report height, you would expect it, I imagine to be a normal distribution, you know, a Gaussian distribution. But I bet that 5'10 and 6' foot have way more people reporting it than 5'11. Because if you're really 5'11, you're not going to say you're 5'11. Many people will just round it up and say they're 6 feet. If you're 5'9, you're not going to lie and say you're six feet because someone could call you on that. Six feet is a very common height. If you were in public and you were like, I'm six feet tall, someone might be like, okay, King, let's go back to back. What do you say if you're exactly six feet? I think you say six feet, me personally. And then you just use that to height shame other people who lie and say they're six feet tall. Like if you're actually like, you know, 181 centimeters or whatever, you should just be the Rorschach. Whenever anybody says they're six feet, you should be like, all right, bro, measure up. We're going nose to nose. 6'4 is life cheats. I don't know. Like, I've, I've never found my height to be uh, a problem. I feel like 6'2 like is where it starts to be like you're, you're getting some marginal improvement, but also, you know, like you're more uncomfortable, like in cars and on flights and stuff like that. You're hitting your head. I mean, I, I'll hit my head on occasion, and I'm only 5'10". You had four inches on top of that. You know, we're getting into, I'd probably be smacking this Marty around all the time. Like, I think Apo Apollo is really tall. I think he's 6'4". You're gonna say like, that's not really tall. It's, I think you're out of touch, honestly. It's not, it's not the tallest man on earth, the broadest shoulders, Sufi and Stevens, but it's like, it's tall enough. You, let me put it this way. If you saw Apollo in the mall, you wouldn't be like, look at that tall guy. You would just look at him and be like, he's tall. But if someone introduced you to him and said, this is my friend Apollo, you would be like, how's the weather up there? There's some guys you see in the mall and you're like, you are Willem Dafoe in the lighthouse. You're like. But it's like a, a tall person to meet. 6'4 is not tall to see, like it's not circus tall, but it's tall enough to remark upon if you have some rapport. 
And even he complains about like height based problems. And I'm like, 6'4 is like, there's people a lot taller than that. The world was, especially like, like old buildings were built by shorter people. Like if you go into a modern building, you're not smacking your head on anything. But if you go over to like your grandma's house and your granddad built it with his bare hands in like 1957, your ass is like on a scooter the whole time on your knees. <laughs> I've fully accepted, by the way, that I am a, um, I've threaded the needle and I think it's a positive rather than a negative. I am a one coffee Andy. I have my coffee in the morning. I don't need it in the afternoon. The, I, I got to test it empirically because I know people are going to ask. I've been getting tired in the afternoons, which I think is relatively normal. So on Saturday, we dropped our daughter off at an activity and we went to a coffee shop and Kate said, do you want a coffee? And I said, you know what? I never do get a, a second coffee. But sure, I'll have like, a, I'll have like a, a medium coffee. I was, I felt like it was the first cup of coffee I'd ever drank in my entire life. Like I felt the rush. I felt hungry and a little gastrointestinal distress and almost like jittery. And I was not tired. It had like a genuine impact. And I was like, I can't do this again. Like, I, I fell asleep like 45 minutes later than usual, even though I had the coffee at like 2 p.m. I had a Red Bull before bed and slept like a baby. I'm going to do the thing that the internet always does. You should take an adult ADHD assessment. Isn't that like a symptom of, uh, of ADHD is that caffeine is actually like a sedative to you? It's not the same for everybody. Honestly, evolution fucked up on that one. It should be the same for everybody. No wonder people like um, revere doctors so much, myself included, especially like before, I get that modern medicine is a lot better than, you know, the medicine from like the Crusades. But like, it's kind of crazy that without the ability to like see inside of someone's body, you could go to a doctor in like the 1800s and be like, hey, um, my chest hurts a little bit, and I've been coughing up uh, brown mucus, and uh, my knees hurt when it rains. And then that dude would just go straight up to, like, what I can only imagine is, like, the world's largest flow chart with a monocle and go, like, and then, so what color was this bottom again? It's brown? Okay. Okay, you have, you know, tuberculosis or something like that. That's crazy, man. Nowadays... We literally have magic where you can see inside of someone's body and they still can't get it right, bro. You go to the doctor and you're like, I'd really like you to use the magic machine that can see my bones. And they're like, based on what you're telling me, I'm not sure you need it. And you're like, okay, <laughs> I'll suffer a little bit longer. They're like, you haven't earned it yet, you piece of shit. I know you're kind, always going around trying to get free cat scans all the time just for the thrill of it. I don't get it twisted. I am saying we need to bring back alchemists. <laughs> I think I, I've, I've taken the 90s maxing from like a genuine appreciation through to like ironic exaggeration. And now I'm actually like fully on my boomer arc. When we left the... Um, the ER last week, they prescribed our child children's reactant, okay? We were like, we're happy that we went through the emergency room in such a fast time because we didn't have to wait for a doctor. They gave us a nurse practitioner who was perfectly capable of, of doing the job, right? We were like, it seems crazy that we invented, there was like a hundred years where they invented all these medicines that were basically like nuclear powered drugs that were like any symptom you have we can just give you this pill and at least alleviate your symptoms and then at some point i remember my parents telling me about doctors in like the 60s and 70s is like if your kid had a cough the doctor would drive to your house and give them like a syringe full of something and they would never complain again <laughs> and you were like that was worth calling the doctor i had a problem the doctor came over with a solution Nowadays, you have a problem, you go to the hospital, and the doctor's like, we're pretty sure this is what's wrong with you, and we can give you medicine, but we're not going to give it to you yet. Instead, you should just rest. And I'm like, brother, I've been here for six hours. You at least got to give me something. 
I know there's a mandate to like do less harm, but you gotta give me, you gotta give me something, okay? That's customer service. Like maybe the doctor shouldn't have to worry about it, but as a human being, it would feel better if they were, if, if the doctor was like, maybe he's like, go home and get some rest. And I'm like, doctor, it's really bothering me. And then he was like, all right, fucking shut up, come over here. They invented, he slides open like a metal drawer. They invented this shit in 1958. It has uh, cocaine, Oxycontin, Vicodin, CBD, fucking codeine. It's got everything in it. They used to, a dude used to make it uh, out of little potion bottles in the Wild West. It was made illegal in 1971. We're not supposed to give this out. I'd be like, okay, come on, fucking come on. Just give me one. Just one, bro. I'll be fine. This is what they were prescribing. This is anecdata again. This is the kind of shit they were prescribing to my grandpa when he was 30. The motherfucker's like 86 years old now. How bad for it could, how bad for you could it be, man? He's still kicking. He's still going for walks. Nowadays, you got diarrhea for two weeks. They're like, oh, we don't really recommend our patients take Imodium anymore. And you're like, what the f why the fuck do they keep making it then, bro? What am I supposed to do? Give jellyfish a chance. That being said, and the, the end point for almost everything I say is always that I'm the dumb one and I think that I'm smarter than other people and then the data comes back and betrays that. Um, the children's Benadryl that we had been giving to our daughter didn't work at all. The hives kept spreading. Two doses of children's Reactin, hives completely gone. That nurse practitioner knew what she was talking about. <laughs> and it didn't require any extra medicine except for the children's reactant. They didn't need any of the 1950s pharmaceuticals. Dio Guigo, what kind of entertainment rides you've been doing? I don't know, maybe you've been doing the stacks, but I, I keep seeing your, your long rides. I assume they're entertainment rides. No, don't worry, I'll wait. Killing of a sacred deer, okay. Streets didn't know that Dio Guigo was based like that. Lil Guiga's not out yet. <laughs> That's, I love the way you've described it. Actually, my father was Lil Guiga. You could just call me DL. Did you see the dude who kept photoshopping young women when they would post selfies? He would photoshop them and be like, hey, nice picture, here's what you would look like if you were black or Chinese. And then he became like Twitter's main character for, I don't know, like a week. And then someone created an anonymous account and posted a picture of his house and then a picture of himself and said, listen, scumbag, I know where you live and this is what you look like. And then he replied to it and said, cool, here's what I would look like if I was black or Chinese. I'm not saying you gotta hand it to him, but the reply is one of the funniest comebacks I think you could possibly conceive of in that situation. It's actually so good. <laughs> And the dude who posted a picture of his house deleted his account. Oh, 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 it's that's when they say a good offense is a great defense. The best offense is a good defense. Oh man, that site still got a little magic in it. Not a lot. Let's be clear. <laughs> There's still something rattling around in those old bones. I still think we lose, for the record. <laughs> Did you see the Yams Walmart post on Twitter? Yams Walmart. I did not see the Yams, son of a bitch. 25 minutes till Jackbox. Searching, uh, I'll search on Bing, Yams Walmart. Sweet potato sold in singles. The review is for, who, what motherfucker is reviewing sweet potatoes on walmart.ca? That's an affront to Mother Nature. You're giving God a 4.3 for the sweet potato. Mm, a little bit too much uh, sodium chloride for me. Today, after... Okay, here's the tweet. Thank you, librarian. Today, after almost two years of leaving a yam on the Walmart customer service desk nearly every week, I was approached by two managers who cornered me as I was headed to the checkout. Without any introduction, they looked me in the eyes and whispered, Why yams? The, here's the previous tweet. 
Every time I go to Walmart, I leave a single package DM on their back customer service counter, and I've done it 58 times now, and no one has caught me yet. These are all different yamanings, and I will never be stopped. The yamaning is now upon you. Okay, next, next tweet. My heart dropped. I've been caught. I said, um, it's sort of like a prank, and they both laughed. I felt immediate relief, and they explained that it's been driving them insane. They thought one of the employees was pranking them. When that employee switched stores and it kept happening, they decided to investigate and check the cameras. They saw me on the cameras do it today and decided to approach me. I apologized, and since I've been doing it for so long, I thought the jig is up so much for the yamming. But then they said, oh, no, don't worry, we don't mind. I said, what? They said, we don't care. It was just driving us insane. We just wanted to know. They agreed to not tell anyone it's me, and they gave permission to keep doing it forever because they th also think it's funny. So I shall yam forever, yam for eternity. The yam will never stop. Honestly, I understand this poster. I don't think that it's particularly funny. I think it is a little holds up spork. But in the interest of full disclosure, there used to be, when I was a younger man, 19, 20 years old, there used to be a restaurant uh, in downtown Kingston called The Slip be a magical piece it had the important part about the restaurant is that it was named the slip and it had an extremely large back window that opened onto the patio and you could walk off the patio right onto the sidewalk it was on like the harbor essentially we used to do a thing we get a couple of beers on in us on a saturday we would walk down to the slip we would say table for x however many people there were they would bring a menu we would look at the menu, they'd bring us a glass of water, we would drink a little bit of the glass of water, and then as soon as the server left our eyesight, we would just leave through the back patio. We didn't dine and dash, we didn't order food and eat it and then run away. We just went in under the pretense of getting a table because we're gonna dine, sat down at the restaurant, took a couple of sips of water and then walked out the back door, leaving them to wonder, huh. In, in my head, they're like, no, where did they go? But probably they were actually like, hey, those guys just walked out the back, just so you know. And they're like, oh, okay, I guess they had somewhere to be. But in my head, it was like the end of the usual suspects. Like they ran out and they're like, I've already like changed my shirt at that point. And then we would, call, we would be like, hey, do you want to go give them the slip today? I thought it was funny. That's pretty much on the same level as the yamming. So I'm not going to like, you know... I'm not going to insult the poster. We all go through a yamming phase in our lives, maybe. Great prank, bro. <laughs> Dude, they entertained me. That's why the townie, townies hated us. Bro, I was a townie! <laughs> I grew up in, basically, in Kingston. Would you still do it if the staff said they were okay with it? No, because the point of it is that they were supposed to be confused. That would have taken all the magic away from me. It wouldn't have been any, any purpose at that point. So I understand the yamming. What I don't understand is the kind of sicko that would give sweet potatoes 4.3 out of 5. They're a 5 out of 5 at being what they are, which is sweet potatoes. Hey, I don't want to ignite like a whole discussion about this necessarily. Do vegans eat honey? Or is this like the, the Council of Nicaea for veganism? They don't eat honey. Can I ask why? I understand the obvious, it's an animal product. But w did you become vegan in the first place? I guess it's different for everybody. Did you come vegan and become vegan in the first place? Presumably to avoid doing harm to the animals, right? But as I understand it, bees are kind of like, they enjoy doing the job. <laughs> Like, it's bee vomit, right? Like, it's a byproduct of bee metabolism. And bees, they're not, like, captive, right? They, they're free to fly around, like, as they see fit. But they tend to enjoy being in the hives. It's not like they're picking up individual bees and going, like, like, squeezing it out, right? I don't like animals taking my job. Okay, well, finally, like, a legitimate reason. I'm being serious. I'm not trying to be like, uh, oh, gotcha. A lot of beekeepers clip the bees' wings so they don't leave. Chad, is this true? I'm, I swear to you, I'm not trying to be like glib. Like, I'm not trying to make a joke. How small are the damn scissors, bro? Aren't there like a billion bees in the hive? Like, how, how could they possibly 
in my head, this seems like something that can't possibly be true. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? You motherfucker, you? It's exploiting animal labor? But they don't... Okay, like, I understand what you're saying in, like, a, in a Karl Marx sense. But they don't use the honey, right? That's like if an animal... If, if I throw up on the sidewalk and then a dog comes over and eats my vomit, I'm not like, hey, little bro, that one's mine. Honey is their food for the winter? That's disgusting. They eat their vomit in the winter time? All right, well, you're making a case for it, at least. I didn't realize it was a whole can of worms, okay? Have you tried mentioning the epic bacon? Listen, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. As a result of the, um, the demise in popularity of Reddit humor, bacon is now one of the most overhated foods on the planet. If you are of the opinion, I, I am sorry to tell you this, if you are of the opinion that bacon is overrated, you are a time capsule, culturally speaking. The shine has come off the rose on bacon. In 2011, if you had said bacon is the most overrated food on the planet, you still would have been wrong because this shit is delicious. But it was, it was peaking in cultural popularity at that point. There was bacon salt everywhere, bacon flavoring on everything. Every Caesar had like eight slices of bacon around the rim. We are in a, a post-peak bacon world. Bacon is now, in my personnel opinion, extremely overhated. It's still delicious. It's not tasty. You're putting on airs, my friend. Please talk about Canadian bacon. I love pea meal bacon. I, I do feel like it's possibly superior to quote unquote regular bacon. No, we're not, listen, it's 2024. We can't talk about Canadian bacon just being ham anymore. This is a misnomer. It, it, it's like the idea that British English is another type of English. No, it's completely different. It's its own language, okay? Canadian bacon, it, there's, there's like a, it's, it's a clade, and there's subclades that come off of it. There are little circles of essentially ham. Sometimes you may find that erroneously, in my opinion, referred to as Canadian bacon in a grocery store. What I refer to as Canadian bacon is here known as pea meal bacon. It is ham-esque, but there's another hook to it. Instead of being little circles, it kind of looks like um, the state of, of Kentucky, and it's got pea or cornmeal around the outside of it. And then when you fry it in a frying pan, the cornmeal gets crispy as fuck. People are like, why is it called pea meal? Okay, the most popular drink in your country is called a Dunkachino. Like, can we get past semantics here? We're, we're, we're grown adults. Why are you trying to gasm me here, bro? You're trying to like get us lost in the weeds when we could be having a real conversation. I'm a grown adult, I drink water. The most sleep deprived man you've ever seen. You ever consider drinking water? All right, motherfucker, hop on the bike. Let's see who's more hydrated. Let's post your mile time. Don't call me out like that. I was trying to think of the meanest thing I could say without it being against TOS. I decided on sleep deprived because, you know, some people wear it as a badge of honor. I was going to say, man who hasn't seen the sun in two weeks. <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard of drinking flavored beverages? Mm. The only thing flavored in my household is my vape cartridge. You motherfucker, you. Uh, vapors be like, you ever hear of uh, water? Hey, motherfucker, you ever hear of air? You dumb motherfucker, you. I only drink water. And I only breathe lemon pound cake. Shut the fuck up, man. How'd your webinar go? It was basically like just a 50 minute long information session at the end of the day. Um, the worst part of it was that when I joined, my Zoom name was Northern Lion. And everybody else's Zoom name was like their full legal name and then the name of their child. <laughs> so I very I Googled like how to change name on Zoom and then you can't change it before the call. So I had to like, as soon as I got out of the call, I was like, ah, oh, oh shit. Then like, I don't know, I, I've had this take before. I don't know how you all handle like work from home, all hands meetings. Cause this webinar had 174 participants in it. Uh, and mostly it was like top-down communication from them to us, right? They told everybody to turn off their microphones 
But like half of the people were on iPads. So I don't know, you like hit a button and it accidentally unmutes. And then you hear them like yelling through their house for like their husband to come watch with them and stuff like that. It was just chaos. And then I would say 90% of people were, were camless. But like some people were on cam, which was fine. And I admire their tenacity for like listening intently. But one person was, they left their cam on and they were clearly like at work as a dog walk, a dog groomer. So like every once, like 99% of the call, you would just see the ceiling of their workplace. And then like every 20 minutes, you would just see like a dog in one of those dog harnesses in the groomers, like getting shaved down with the trimmers. And I was like, I admire the hustle, but like, it's a little distracting. And then someone in the Peloton Discord was like, all of my meetings, or some of my meetings, or I'm totally off base in this one. Some of my lectures are three hours mandatory camera on. And I'm like, that school honestly needs to fuck off. That's just crazy. Like, I understand you want to, you want people to pay attention, okay? But like making it mandatory three hours of cam on, I almost feel like I don't, this is a source dude, just trust me. Like, I don't have anything that I can back this up with. What, what a squad. I, I have to admire your ingenuity, guest. I think you're going to be like more distracted in the lecture from looking at like knowing that you're being observed by the panopticon. Like I, I, it seems anti-education to me to make you spend a little bit of your mental energy constantly wondering if you're performing the duty of looking attentive instead of focusing on what they're saying in the lecture and like writing it down. And honestly, I mean, maybe this is like how a 16 year old kid feels about education, but like if someone, what are you worried about? Someone goes, camless and then they're not actually listening to the lecture well then they should fucking flunk the exam okay and if they don't flunk the exam then the exam should be harder and if you can't make the exam harder because you need to pass x number of people then it's probably not that important that they learn the shit like i don't think you're ever in like cardiac surgery class and the teacher is like well you all failed but i gotta pass six surgeons this year so here you go like i think it's more like <laughs> when they're just giving you a certificate in something that is like you showed up and you did the stuff like anyway the opposite should also be true what do you mean by that professor shouldn't have to be on camera but i but i learn better when i can see someone speaking Myself, I was like, I'm never turning down again. Well, that's because you go, you lean away from your mic all the day. To that's why I'm leaning in now, and now you're telling me it's too loud. <laughs> Nuts on the table. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Ryan's chat. Am I too loud? <laughs> Be honest. This motherfucker <laughs> trusts random people and <laughs> yeah, instead of the people in the call. Well, there's, you know, I trust like five thousand random people at the same time. It's just more that you were so loud it hurt my ears when you were that's talking crazy. there. Maybe you just hate me. I don't hate you. I just would, okay. I just would like that you need to realize that your your mixer is a freak. Well, I'm happier. I'm happy Honestly, that he's like audible now. You, okay, you know what? It, you do constantly spill shit into your mixer. On a no, daily basis. no. So I have not spilled anything me, into my mixer. I don't. Oh, my audio. I never change anything. No, listen. My know. mic is at zero. It's at zero on the mixer, and that's where it should be. Backbox on a Thursday, huh? Yup. Do I sound normal, Shibley? Yes. Okay. A little loud, but that thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? I'll dial it back a touch. I, Justin, I think, you need to stop touching it because when I don't you'll, fucking touch I it, change it and then you change yeah, 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 it. Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. You you have some uh, kind of audio ghost that is constantly. Fucking I mean, I have two cats. Things. Well. <laughs> yeah, but a little loud, right actually, I, I did have you on 200 percent because obviously at wow. some point you're a little quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I'm at 130. I'm at, I'm at 100 up. now, Chibli. Uh, hang on, let me put you on 100. I, I, I'll put you on 100. Yeah, I had you on you 80. Know, you're on 100. All right. I have you on how do you feel about 100? Whoa! What did the you... fuck? Your mic sounds so good. Oh, thank you. It, it might have been at negative five, if I'm being honest. Maybe that's the right <laughs> oh place. Oh my god! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> negative five.
I got, like on the fader. DB, DB's negative, Ryan. The DB's. It, 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 yeah. What? Oh, okay. my my DB's a boosted 13, bro. I ain't boosted my DB's, man. Hang on, let me put me on normal DB's. Oh, oh God. You're wow, goodbye. You're so quiet. Goodbye. Dude, goodbye, Jim. Way goodbye. too low. Low? Hello? He's so loud. Hello? Not now. You actually yeah, sound what great. This? Dude, Chip. Oh, Wait, is this so beta? Go, uh, Talk? Is this beta? Oh, Hello? Lord, it's so loud. What the? Wait, no, it's not loud. He's normal. He's now? Yeah, he's, well, he's joking. He's, ju he's just. Mouth's a little quiet to me. Hello? I have mouth at 130%. Hello? What? <laughs> oh, wow. He fell in a fucking hole, dude. He is in a hole right now, dude. <laughs> okay, oh, he he's, can really he's, go he's, off, man. He's yeah, out of the yeah. hole. He's voice out actor, of the hole. Voice I'm putting everyone back to 100. I'm starting fresh. His his parents are gonna come to his room. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. Oh my god! I got told off the other day. Oh my god! Oh, you're loud now. Yeah, you 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 you, you really messed up now. He no, sounds, he sounds normal to me. Where I was. Initially, oh, wow. this is oh, where it was. I turned beginning. you up to, I had you at 88, and I turned you up to 100 yeah, when you go. were doing your volume shit. So. Yeah, I'm going to turn you back there. <laughs> well, no, I'm going to turn myself back there. I oh, am God, going to put you so much. I'm going to put you all at 100, and then based on okay. your performance, like, <laughs> your, not your Jackbox performance, but the entertainment value you bring to the stream, I'm going to dynamically adjust it throughout the segment. Okay, well, I think that's here. It's nice uh, talking guys. to you guys. Is Hello? Is there? <laughs> All right, everybody I'm just that talked just got his... minus five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, minus five is good. It's DBs. Let's go. Jarvis. Chip me the knob, Jarvis. I played Did Millionaire those... today. And uh, I saw. The old man in the game sounds like you doing your Eminem impersonation. I'm gonna guess that Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head. <laughs> my little answer. It's really Let good. me phone my friend Margaret. Hello. How are you, dear? <laughs> when did Abraham get shot? <laughs> oh. Abraham? Did I, I saw a tweet that was like there was it was a picture of the top hat that he was wearing and someone quoted it like six four and wearing a top hat. Man, I would have shot his ass too. <laughs> I saw that. That was good. That was good. Were you talking shit earlier, by the way, Ryan? I don't think I was, I was. I was talking about how you're. Here's what I said verbatim. Okay, I swear it to you. I said you are tall <laughs> enough. Uh huh. Uh, let me rephrase. I said you're okay. tall, but you're not the kind of tall where if I just saw you as a stranger at the mall, I would be like, "Whoa, look at that tall guy." But if someone yeah. was like, "Hey, here's my friend Apollo." I would be like, whoa, you're tall. Yeah, that, that tracks. Which is good. That means you're not like freak tall. You're just like <laughs> tall. I will say that I'm, I think I'm right under freak tall. Yeah. Did anyone tall else go, uh, that's an awfully tall <laughs> stranger at the mall? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had that thought. I, had that thought. I just didn't, I didn't go for it. The yeah, worst height tall. when you're tall has got to be like six, seven, right? Because it's like you're, I'm gonna be a you're tall. Enjoying. But like not tall enough to get into the NBA with no talent. What? No, no I'm going to be five. honest with you. And I've said this to my chat before. <laughs> no I talent. am annoyed at short people because they don't know how good they have it. Mm. Randy Newman. Uh -oh. They're like, bro, oh, I, haven't no, 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 no. I wish I could reach that can of beans in the pantry. <laughs> and it's like. I'm, yeah, I'm over bro, here like, I wish my back wasn't hurting shelf, at bro. the age of 28. <laughs> like, no, I, I, don't. They I have, like being short. Too, I, what right? ticks me off is t tall people or normal people are like, There's oh, no your life must suck. And it's like, you don't even know, man. Tall people literally on average die sooner than short people. It's true. Yeah. Taking For up really? less space is, yes. is good. Oh, shit. But they live yeah, harder. But being short good. is probably depressing. More depressing. <laughs> it. I must oh, bother man. you too when you complain about like your knees hurting after a flight and then someone my height is like, yeah, me too. <laughs> So like, bro, I'm you just don't saying, even know. all the other, all the other people at my height and my age are not. They're like, yeah, no, he's right. It sucks. I, Apollo, I'm not trying to start an argument. No, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say, say it. it. Join the say lobby. It. Join the lobby, then say it. Us as, as a collective, not just you. We do sit down all day, every day. That yeah, might have a contributing really factor to having a so, so bad. All of your backs are horribly ruined at, at, at the age of thirty. Yes, I have. Ex like, I, I think extreme scoliosis. 
I don't think I don't think that's some that's Harry Potter okay. curse. No, no, not the, <laughs> not the like born with scoliosis. The scoliosis that you develop because you sit funky for every day for the rest of your life. Not the one that's like, oh, your baby was born and this spine isn't right. The one where it's like, oh, you're 26 and you've been sitting fucked up. Your posture's like gonna need a lot of work to correct. I uh, was like a couple weeks ago. I had uh, the cable guy come over. Uh, to yeah, in, in, yeah, I know how that went inspect our uh our wi-fi or a router anyway dude was like seven foot tall like he had to duck to walk into my apartment nice. right and the whole time i'm like don't ask him how tall he is don't ask him how tall he is don't ask him it's... how tall he is don't ask him. but like there's like a little demon in the back of my head right yeah, that's like but how, how tall, tall is he? he how tall is he how tall is he and i'm well, like i hope you don't mind but how tall are you and he's like I'm tall enough. And then he goes on like a oh, yeah. tirade Tom about all these out. stories about how people ask him how does the weather there? And he was like, yeah. on a family play vacation. basketball. Yeah, uh, and a woman, a, a woman asked him how tall he was. And he's like, how the fuck do you ask somebody that? And when you see a fat guy, do you say, how fat are you? And I'm like, oh man, I really touched the nerve. Most buddy. normal tall guy. <laughs> that is a, as, as another tall guy, that's that's a little aggressive. I'm like, Bro, oh man, I feel so really bad. Because he's a cable guy, you should have said, how's the signal up there? Hey! <laughs> oh, that would have been good. I do think it's funny that there is some tall guy out there that's been so jokeified and his revenge is going <laughs> to people that are like overweight and being like, how fat are you? Like, bro, what are you doing? Come on, man. Like, you, that is, you're just fucked up. Your inheritance will mean you don't have to work for the rest of your life. But your irrational father is threatening to cut you out of the will if you don't give up this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's such uh, a funny, funny no. answer. I was waiting for, like, you know, ice cream or something. <laughs> uh, knees I don't really have to work tall, again, right? bro. They're more of a, a body function thing, you know? It's one of my I can get most favorite joints. Yeah, I'll get some yeah I like knees. mine. Ain't my my knees most are already favorite fucked. joint, brother. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> plus five volume, plus five volume. Plus, plus five to his volume, please, editors. Yes, yes. Oh, Jarvis, man. crank his knob. <laughs> He's going to turn into, this is going to be a Tim the Tatman. Corey? Let's go. Dude, give me, give me, give me. I'll sit in a wheelchair give the rest me, of my damn life. Corey said, "Fuck it, bro." <laughs> I'll sit. I'll sit. <laughs> okay. in plus, plus eight on Apollo's <laughs> DB, please. Knees on the table. Shit, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be quiet as hell, man. While I'm here, you notice a sign. For you are here right now, or this. <laughs> I reject the premise of the question. <laughs> we can do both. That's a funny premise. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> Ryan, the sponsorship ended a little while. Not for me, <laughs> man. Not for me. Welcome to McDonald's. I left a little piece of myself in that one. <laughs> hey, I got the split, kinda. No bonus points for you. Oh, Mountain say welcome to McDonald. At least you are here right now is like accurate. I'm a Harvey's guy, Chip. Come on. <laughs> Uh, not gonna be saying that, no. Yep, definitely not gonna be saying that. It's Italian. Cum time. <laughs> Cum time. <laughs> it's Italian Dude, for playing... when you come. Yeah. Oh! Man, you guys suck. Just the way the <laughs> I, I, I would rather say you were here right now than come time to a stranger. Yes. <laughs> I'd say come time to my friends. It Everyone almost sounds down. like an old English hello. Come time to you, sir. <laughs> Come time. It literally oh, sounds Come like time. uh it sounds Ooh. like old English slang for telling someone to come here now. Like yeah. Come time pervert. Twitch go live notifications in 1831. Come time. I'm gonna hide my screen in case you're sticking to this old path. Thank you. I will. Cause I think there's mad city in this one. Uh oh. If you have to think about it's like Dave, Connor McDavid talking about the, <laughs> the I just wrote goals. the funniest thing I've ever written, but it's so fucking stupid. If you have to think about it, then it's. <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah, I'm so glad we're going against each other, Chip. I'm so um. Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. That's what he's typing right now. The final Ooh, Jeopardy ah. category Ooh, is ah. words that rhyme. Ting tang, wall, wall, bing bang. Bing. What word rhymes 
with the first word. I got it. Shit's flames, man. Apollo, you're going downtown, bro. I don't know, man. I have some crazy. My name is the juggernaut, because I never waken up. 2,500 points a bottle, I'm about to pack a punch. My mouth's like a trumpet, my brain's like a flute. Finger in every hole to make a funny toot. Okay. Nice. The jug, it was a reference to Call of Duty Zombies Juggernaut. Yeah. 2,500 points a piece and then you pack a punch. Oh, yeah. oh, Better oh, watch okay. out for this one, though. This is gonna get you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a million. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a billion. All of my fans beg me to pout. Crying on X for that free internet clout. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we thought he was at class, man. We thought he was still learning how to count. Damn. I can't believe they gave you that. Uh, that's what they oh, gave yeah, that me. Is I, uh, yeah. That is evil. I, I mean, chips to too. Chips' <laughs> first line was insane. Would you trade one of these robots for one that makes you younger? This one I would, yeah. The phone yeah, one. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit! Why is that reference to Call of Duty Zombies, man? Finger in every hole, make a funny too. It was good. Oh. It was good. It was nice it was to close. know that to win in this game, you just can count. But I heard, <laughs> I, I, I heard, I heard Apollo's second though. So. Oh, my talent's so big, we're running out of gas. Your talent's so stinky, we're shitting out our ass. <laughs> I'm the smartest in the world at arithmetic. You're the best in the world with a pissy dick. Holy! Oh, trying to be nice or what? I don't know. The robot looks so sad. I'm a thing of legend, a regular Ultron. Got you begging on your knees as you crawl on. My words are magical. Call me Copperfield. Up in your mama, I cop a feel. Wow! Oh. Up in your mama? No. <laughs> I don't know if you can cop a feel if you're already up in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. I guess maybe. She well, I'm going to have yeah. to give it to HG Justin. Yeah, this was the pissy dip. No, it was the, the, talent, the talent bit was pretty good. I can't lie. Whoa. Close. Very close. Oh God! That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I touch my buttons. Yeah. Let's keep it moving. We got some more rounds to go. This is the dumbest like, thing I've ever submitted in my life. I don't like what I've written. I could. Uh, did, uh, uh, did you say uh, dull, Justin? What? Did you say dull? No. Oh, you said dumbest. Oh yeah. Wait, dumbest okay. what? This is one of the dumbest things I've ever hit the submit button on in my life. Well, no, no, spoken like a man who's no, never no. voted. <laughs> mine. <laughs> you walked into that one. I think I'm confident mine's the best thing I've ever done. Oh, let's see it. I don't mince words, so let me cut to the deer. Gonna make you fear the sheer about a peer, pair I peer. You're about as helpless as a tiny mouse. Baby, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> I... All right. I don't have a mouse. He's cooking. You should just go home, so get in your bus. Bet this young lad can't rhyme without a cuss. As looks go, you're far from putrid. A pretty little guy, I call him a nice kid. <laughs> Corey, Corey just likes to play on hard mode. He just gives himself the most impossible lines that he could have. Mine were really hard. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be honest, I think this one's pretty easy. Chipley, no, wait, don't forget, oh, donh, don't forget about the popularity you. vote here. Oh, oh. I like the romance. Oh, no. Dude, I think Corey's raps give me every time. Every <laughs> single one is like, I f I'll fuck you like I fucked my mom. Um, don't worry, I didn't come. <laughs> now run on home and cry in your lobster. Enjoy your last meal before you're whacked by a mobster. If I had money, I wouldn't buy you a plastic cup. Go drink out the dog bowl, you little pup. Oh, wow. Wow. that was fighting words. Wow. 
He wrote that one in the mirror, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I always sparkle. You're dusty as a squeak toy. Axe to your knees, making you a shorter boy. I'm a hurricane. You're a storm. I'm John Lennon. You're fieldy from corn. But they're both so good. What's up with all the knee hate today? There's so much knees going on. Who the hell is fieldy, bro? Who's fieldy? Fieldy was the guy with the... the well, I'd say stupid hair. He was hair the guy with that. no knees, man. <laughs> He's These are both that. so good. Is he good. the bassist? He's the bassist. I'm pretty actually. sure he's the bassist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those guys. Bassist feels he's watching hard. right now going, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the one with no, the... No, he's like, they mentioned me! They mentioned me! <laughs> the, the one with the eyes? So like, good. the eyes are uh, all black? That's West Borland. Yeah, that's... Oh! The <laughs> they slim biscuit. I think you're cooked, brother. Bro, I mean, you you have an advantage from it. How bad that first line started out for me. I, I went into Cerebro for that one. Okay, I, I respect it. <laughs> I've got your number, and you're less than 420. Was that Jiro, or is your ass smelling funny? <laughs> You'll go down in one hit. Blam! You'll drop pant and take shit, man. I'm messing you up, making you feel pontificating. You're messing me up, making me want to defecate. Very shit. I'm hunting for trophies, but you're just uh, your cock shooting my load, and you want to talk. <laughs> Such a Cory pilled rap, man. <laughs> You're just you, in your own rap. You said you were shitting, yeah. bro. <laughs> he dropped pants and shit, and and no. also said you were shitting. So no. he like double go. He's in your head. Dude. This whole rap me. had an Italian accent too. I don't know what was me. going on. <laughs> Small object that I wrote your cock. Chad hates me. That's that's from Chad hates me. I I picked Justin. I felt like he went for the job. Oh, I destroyed him. Uh, Final uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I hear your voice, I want to deride. What's open, What's open on DoorDash? I'll help you decide. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Never have I ever met someone so tall. You must be really good at basketball. <laughs> My name is Ryan. Yes. 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 You must be really good at basketball. I feel like I was playing on hard mode, man. Like Vader said to Luke, I am your president. Trust me, I've seen that movie. That's how it went. Your rhymes aren't alive. They're dead as Kissinger. You're done here like your hair. You better not linger. Oh. Cranberries reference. Stealth Cranberries reference. Yo! Yeah. <sighs> On this bullet, I'm doing a write-in vote for H.C. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm I'm feeling the 1980s flow. That's good. That's good. Mm. Okay. Dang, close. Ooh. Honestly, I'm happy it was close. You might have still won. I think you were up by. Oh, no, you got the cheer yeah, bonus. I forgot brother, about yeah. the cheer bonus. Vengeance Back when I was based. a younger, a younger lad, I don't remember a damn thing about one and two. I like the time when yeah, Kylo goes, "It's time to kill the past." <laughs> and four through six is the most overrated shit, man. I guess fine. Oh, you're doing the thing where you're trying to rage bait. <laughs> no, I actually believe that. That's not rage. Bait. I don't like the dialogue in them. Oh, it's a cat. It's my cat. They, they got brother and sister kissing in that movie. They do. But they, they do, yeah. lots of people knew that they were brother and sister, but nobody told them, so it's not really their fault. That is so <laughs> funny. Bad, bad. That is, murder methods, dude, murder that is methods. so evil and funny. Two murder friends methods. in your friend group, oh. you know that they're um like getting feelings for each other, and everyone in the friend group's like, oh, they're brother and sister, bro, and they don't, don't know tell what's going to happen. <laughs> I bet they're going to And kiss. then at the wedding, you go, I object! You guys are related! <laughs> and they're like, what? Which what the fuck, bro? Which each of you most likely employ? Well, if you guys I know. percent Justin's, then... Yeah, I mean... I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have our winner. Likes to shoot people. 
Huh? It's sad because oh, you picture his a cute little cat. I know, it's like the cat is killing. Yeah. Ever thought about killing with kindness? I thought Ryan would be the guy to rig up like the elaborate trap for the uh, the train tracks, like a like a cartoon villain. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. You know more about your friends than you probably should. Yes. I think so I'm the alien though, because watch, I can do this. You can't see, but my chat can. Okay, I feel like I'm. Sorry. He's spitting out another uh, mouth so from his mouth. He's got naked and he's covered in slime. So he just <laughs> fucking gave, he just like popped out twelve eggs you. from a hole that no one's ever <laughs> seen before. Dude, egg. You're this. He's got no. an eye on the back and of his head. This. You can't be both. We're going what to the hell? Which quality fits you <laughs> Aliens introverted? You're speed dating. <laughs> What's your attention getting opening line? What about um think... very specific lifestyle yeah, choices? I was thinking that okay. this could yeah, be that's a really fun Ankle tattoos. Mm. Huh. That's also, I think, that's like a fun one too. Yeah. I think I have nailed every single. I have arguments for all these. These I are all perfect. I, yeah. If I, yeah. I too. I'm definitely four to six. The last two, I wasn't sure. Oh, I think I got I, it all spot on. I Same, man. I'm confident. Hey, the thing is, I'm not into vape. I fucking hate vaping. I'm, uh, I, I no, want to quit vaping. No, no, I can't hear backs. you over those. I'm glad you took the full for me, bro. <laughs> I changed in the last second. <laughs> oh, you thought I was a freegan? You you're you're vegetarian to too. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm not really even fucking with it. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> hey, you got the role you I'm literally taking care of my brother's dog right now. Yeah, but the other one makes sense too. <laughs> what did Mouth pick? Uh, you wait, let me see them again. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was there. Okay. I was there. for himself. <laughs> it makes sense. And 99 percent of himself. I knew he was going to win. I think I got them all right. Never oh, mind. I thought it was Uber Eats. He doesn't drive a license. He doesn't yeah. know how to drive. That's true. Mm. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yay. I had no one else to put it on, so I put it on Corey. Let's break it. I literally opened his stream this morning and he was saying, if you think bacon is overrated, you're stupid. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't say it. Don't say <laughs> it. Don't I don't thought it was so it. original. Oh, don't boy. Don't say it. Oh, boy. <laughs> say, like, say like Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> the White House. <laughs> That's wild, man. I do feel like bacon only has two acceptable places for me anymore. Which is like, yeah, my mouth and my ass. My mouth and <laughs> your ass. Now, uh, your devices now. Ryan made it a lot easier to not vote for. Let's what? just say That's by great. it, I mean Mike Peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike uh, Peanuts, uh, uh, Washington football quarterback. Just as I hypothesized. I poked myself in the eye. Dude, and One. you have Juro Poo on your finger. You're fucked. You have pink eye now. <laughs> More points for me, loser. <clears throat> I thought for sure this was Ghibli. I thought it was what? Ryan for sure. Why would it be I Ryan's Cory, bro? to be a conspiracy yeah, theorist. What are you talking about? He knows about all the stupid shit. Pellets. I do know about <laughs> it. I just didn't believe it. <laughs> Cory like, jumps on the pole. You should invest. Like, when people are, are that about. smart, they fall off the quickest, man. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, no, because yeah. Cory, my, my, my angle was Cory's always on TikTok. Ah, uh, also true. Yep. Yeah. Mm. What? He just because the alien has you, a hidden you, you megalodon. You don't think there are aliens in Florida? You. <laughs> Dude, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> they said that the portal opened up and a bunch of like eight foot tall aliens started coming creatures. out of it. Oh. Sneaky tackling super. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, thanks yeah. man. <laughs> the picture goes with the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tackling super free spirit. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay. Most total science pellets is. Wait, how did I get more? Super evil, cautious, bruiser, bruiser dude. Is that even nah, that You're an evil, cautious uh, guy who beats people up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Super evil guy who beats people up. Wow. Bold, joke mode, and 
uh, Madverse. Madverse in the same day. Yeah, I, I really know. do respect it. I, I love Joe Pope. He's really pulling me our... Me too, me too. Our brain stems. I've, I've decided I like Madverse so much more than I like Joe Pope. <laughs> I really like Madverse is well, actually a good game. Yeah, MC. that's it's true. It's a great game. It fucks you a lot. Uh, Joe Pope has... Oh, I, I, hide your screen, hide your screen. It's hidden. Hold on, the transition's going. Hidden. Do some. Don't write poop butt dick, okay? I write Wait. hamburger every time, and I sm I laugh every time. <laughs> but that's I write hot dog I every single time. I'm not even kidding. That's hot so dog funny. every week. Well, stupid. mine have fucked up. Who wrote comes? <laughs> not me. Sorry. I wrote nothing uh, Im improper <laughs> this time. I didn't write poopies. Hippo type comes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I reset my choices. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a weird piss sound. Oh, he said bye bye, bye bye, Justin, <laughs> bye bye. Is that the the bracken? <laughs> Sorry, man. Dude, I don't know. This is gonna make me sound crazy, and someone probably is gonna like message me after this in this call and be like, "Are you okay, bro?" Someone outside my house has the bracken loft. Like they make <laughs> there's something next door that makes the bracken loft every single night, and it's terrifying. Oh, man. It goes like, rrr, 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 rrr. and I'm like, what the fuck? You got a kookaburra? No, it's a human. Don't forget your catchphrase. Want some more comedy? Well, uh -oh. here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm excited so now. Ready. No, I think it's bad. I'm a nasty little glass bong because you puff me and drunk high. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh -oh. I'm so old. I remember when mouth was what the heck cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, good Whoa. stuff, man. bro. The odds of you going kind of is though. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's rough, dude. Keep my name out your prompts. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the first battle? Yes. Uh, the third battle, but you haven't gone yet. What? Sorry. I missed that one. <laughs> you did. Damn. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> to you. Make some noise for our next comic. Hey. My hometown's nickname is the Miami. <laughs> It was named after the Miami River, derived from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This game sucks so bad. <laughs> I love it. My grandma said the best thing about group texts is nothing. They're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Chitly. <laughs> oh. Man, if, if only you didn't go up against Maya Amy, <laughs> I think you would be killing it. <laughs> you guys, oh. you're not even trying, man. Did you see the fucking uh, picture? Ryan, of you the said group? you pissed on the bed. I said okay, I went to pee. <laughs> they answered and I went to pee. Joke for me. Ghibli, I I Ghibli. was fingering comes and corporate letters. What do you want me to do, dude? <laughs> Oh, fingers, sorry. What's all the fingers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. My grandma said my favorite thing about fingers is the way they fing. <laughs> Apollo <laughs> looks like a cross between Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote it. Hey. He wrote it. Yeah, that's fair. Huh? That's a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> the self-owned for the yeah. dude who it's about, and yeah, also it's true. You, as well. you can't say it. <laughs> I thought people, I was waiting for the laughs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lock in, lock in. Come on, I got this. How long have we got? A minute and a half, almost, kind of. Ah, fuck! Lock in, bro! <laughs> Come on! I'm, I'm losing my mind! 
Oh, oh there's no joke for me on this one. I'm ruined. <laughs> you can pull it back. You got 30 seconds. You got this. I'm trying, man. You got the, I believe in you. Lock it in. The mafia has kidnapped you. They're going to shoot you in the head if you don't write the funniest <laughs> thing you've ever written. I do hate when you choose the joke and then you're like, I didn't think of what to counter it with. I just want okay. to beat this one. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I call my bedroom the bathroom <laughs> because I pissy and shitty <laughs> in there. <laughs> ah, I'm locked in! What did I tell you, man? Locked in! <laughs> really, he really, he really turned it on, huh? The mafia oh, henchman holding yep. the gun looks at his boss. The <laughs> mafioso nods quietly, and then the dude blows your head clean on your neck. Wow! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the boss, and I'm and then I, I smoke a cigar and I give you one beer. Oh, he won! Oh, come on! Yeah, chat. Let's go. Bullshit! This is not even fair, man. It was it's a callback same, because Ryan said pussy again. and shitty. <laughs> Yeah, but it's way better. <laughs> All right, I was locked in. My nickname is Spatula because my name is Pat Atula. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah, man. That is what? Like Dr. Acula. <laughs> Why is it Spatula? You're telling me if you work with a dude named Pat Atula, you wouldn't be like, I'm going to call you Spatula? The bullet that hits Chibli ricochets uh, off the wall and I'd flies through him. your skull. <laughs> no, no, I'd probably what happened is... I'd, I'd probably call him Patch. Yeah, Patch. No, what do you mean? Patches, well, Patula patches. isn't a thing. Yeah, where's the S come from? <laughs> no, I'd call him Patches. Or, I boy. swallow the bullet perfectly without it blowing my head off and I shoot it back out of my mouth and at Ryan's head. I he shoots, say Addy... shoots you in the head with a chickpea out of You guys gotta go outside, Yo. man. This dude will be named <laughs> Spatula everywhere. We've all waited a long time for this, Justin. Oh. oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm a nasty oh, little no. glass bong. Because I smell all fucked up, and I'm all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Al. Fuck I Al. Fuck I'm Al Fuki up. <laughs> it's how I order my damn spaghetti, bro. <laughs> Al Fuki. <laughs> I had to go up against uh, the fucking White House one or this. I was like, I can't beat the White House one. I think Corey might win, man. Who comes out on top in this survival of the funniest? <laughs> oh, that's so close. Hey, hey. He's the funniest, guys. I overtook Mel, sorry. It's okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Sometimes there's a there's a level of unity form. down here. I'm so old. It's time for just a little bit of wheel. Uh, Did you turn off a uh, NA mode? Oh, I should actually. Okay. No. no. Nah, nah. No, it'll okay. be funny. It's okay. No, it's gonna oh. be like who are the name? Uh, which are prime ministers of the UK? Yeah, or... everybody. It's just gonna give us no. less prompts. Okay. Everybody yeah. from the US has been. They're not from the US. Has been having that the you, whole time. It's not gonna give you new prompts. It's just it's gonna already take off. out oh, the no, US no, prompts, man. You don't I think know it's, that. I think it's, it's gonna even the. It's gonna even the damn prompts. odds. That is true. It is the same game. Doesn't make sense. I like the coat. Uh, should I you're just, just like getting free. Or... You're just like knowing I things. I this shit, man. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're American. I'm confident. Clouds I on the not. table. I think My knees are nuts. on the table. Knees on the table. I'm gonna look like a damn fool if I don't get a high number here. I think I, I, think I fucked it. Why, are you mm. a big cloud guy? No, I just feel like a lot of these are obviously not the correct answers, so it's probably just most of the ones that aren't stupid. Right, Cumulus is definitely one. Like this. Yep. No! Corey! Damn, Corey. Wait, Cumulus is one? No. <laughs> Cumulus. 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 Clomulus is not. Well, no, it's I'll funny because it has C U M in it, which is cum, which is uh, ejaculant. It's C U M. Oh, he's right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh right I that. didn't get it. Dude, yeah, that's why clouds. I think that was funny. Yes. Imagine if it was like acid rain, but it's cum rain. Me going outside catching How snow cum flakes on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest Wait, question uh, in the Earth's history. For real. Like, if like someone period? gets this wrong, I swear to fuck, bro. Watch, we gotta exile watch them. somehow we're like all fucking wrong. Watch, we're all fucking wrong.
interesting is the correct answer. Okay, oh, yeah. let's okay, go. That's a waste of everybody's time. I'm gonna faith restored. Has, faith restored. Four. Sixty-one percent correct. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Chibli. Oh, Chibli. Yup. <laughs> Why did he get that? It's, and Noza ate six ice creams on Thursday. Wednesday. That's an awfully nice wheel slice. <laughs> Can Why did you put the slice me? on the so glad you wow, price of wheel? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a good joke. Holy. What is this? Uh, not, not quite not America, right? What is this? <laughs> it says worldwide right there. You still have your talking points? And billions they, of they prefer to keep dollars. that under wraps. I'll back my phone. I got it. Fuck, I went too low, I think. I don't know. I'm going to look like an idiot. I'm going to be too low or I'm going to be too high. I think oh, I might want to way Every too high. Every time I do this, I'm no either idea. too high or too low. By like my chat is saying like margin. three or four. <laughs> oh, really? What? what? Well, well, They're well. fucking poor as hell, bro. I thought they it's only 19 money. billion? That's revenue, that's not even profit. They're yeah. down bad. They're <laughs> down bad. <laughs> oh, man. None of those guesses like were, like, horrible. Like, uh, Corey's was pretty bad. What was Corey's? What do you mean? 666 billion. <laughs> okay, that is that is insane. But <laughs> Mine was 83. That's, that's a little high. Give me big points. No. Yay. No! It's the first time I got spun, you six sons of bitches. Yeah, but you're you're going to win. You got so many damn points now. But the hell, I'm in like third place. Bitches? <laughs> Guys, we're giving it to Chibli if it asks the question. Oh, and thank God I'm not there. No. Wait, man, I'm on the two big ones, bro. There's really one that has like almost all of you he on it. He wins, man. I think that's going to give him 4,000 points. Oh, it didn't. Nah. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Math strong. <laughs> oh, and it sculled him up. You have to spin. No! <laughs> Hit the skull. Hit the skull. Out. Take, Take him out. out. Take him out. Hit the skull. Take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 suck. They be oh, preying on my damn downfall. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> it must be what like a public execution felt like for the victim. It's like your ass is terrified and then everybody else is like, yeah, get him, <laughs> fucking kill him, woo. So They're all eating like popcorn so and true. shit in the audience. That's so I like imagined it happening oh. IRL too, like Ryan getting executed in Nussle cheering and, and stuff. But it must be because he was cheering for everyone else to die previously. That's why. I think they're just bored. Corey, you have one six nine six. What the hell? I do. Oh, son <laughs> of a bitch. It's anybody's game, bro. I got so it many is. slices, man. You have so many single slices. No one went on the two X with you. Oh, hey. fuck, man. What are you doing? What is that spin, Chibli? Come on. Chibli. It gave me points so oh, if this was oh, hey, you. I get the, the, I get don't the you wind dare spin. Win. <laughs> don't you I get dare the win right spin? now. First spin win? You Never. Right don't you now. dare. Not, don't not two weeks it. in a row. It's, not two weeks in a row. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wow! Oh, 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 fuck you. That means we got time for one more. Bang, bang, oh, that's pretty bang, good, bang, actually. Bang, that's bang, pretty bang, good. Bang, 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 I was thinking like three, maybe four. I got two solos, baby. This is a, this is a washed round for me, man. I shouldn't even I, spend. I, I had so many solos last round, I didn't fucking touch them. Wow! I mean, it's early points though, so like, they ain't shit. Wow. A point is a point. That barely helped, you know? He's not here at all, uh dude. He's Why? Brain maxing. <laughs> He's brain maxing. I'm reading my encyclopedia between rounds. <laughs> smart, smart. What are you on? Sharks don't have bones. 
Dude, he read whales, he's only whales are all the way to S. That is crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta spin that two thousand to have a chance. I'm gonna I'm going for it. Perfect spin for that two thousand. Never mind. Nah. It's actually a WCS. They're early points though, so they don't matter that much. <laughs> We're giving it all to Mouth. Everyone's in agreement, right? Cool. Okay. We should give it to Justin. Let's give it to Justin. Voting for Mouth. He doesn't respect the early points anyway. You should give it to him. I'm gonna give it to Mouth. Oh, give it to Mouth. Give it to it's too late. I already voted for Justin. Ghibli, you gotta pay attention to your mouth. Why are you calling me out, bro? I already did. Because you said you were reading encyclopedic <laughs> stuff. Oh, yeah, my bad. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I put the book away. <laughs> Wait, I'm not doing too bad. You're not? I might have this. Bro, you got enough time to get at least to V. <laughs> what is even on V, bro? Like... Vagina. Oh, you can't no not supposed shot. to look. That that page got ripped out in our library. <laughs> Son of a bitch, the anti-American yes. is coming in, yes. dude. Sometimes I imagine myself growing hands with fingers on them, so I can tap the correct answers just like you. Oh fuck. There's not many, bro, that I know. I'm sending it. I have, no, I you know, no, no. I, I thought I was confident. Now I have no fucking idea. Oh, they, but did they do the, the Queen's, Queen's birthday? birthday still? I don't think they do. I think they do it like twice as hard now. This is also like this no, was before it's... she died. Right. Oh yeah, well, we do the... <laughs> did you tap the. It's so oh, many, bro. No. I'm, I'm Yay! Really so so bad. I got owned. It's so many. Commonwealth Day sounded real, so it's Saint. So, Bevin dude, years, I man. thought Commonwealth was one. Yeah. No. <clears throat> the hell is Hog the, Manane? Fox Knight sounds kind of cringy, not gonna lie. I guess Hog Bloody Manane? Sunday uh, is definitely Guy Fox Knight is when you like fireworks. We do it here too, but they want to ban it here, which is like, you know, rightfully so. I don't think oh, we yeah. gotta light fireworks no more, bro. Scary. The interweb. Oh. This is cool. What? What the fuck? Oh, I did. really? Chinese what? Twitter. Oh. Really? That's impossible. I'm losing my fucking mind. I've got all of them wrong, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting everything wrong. Well, this is like international, I guess. This is insane. Fair. What? This no, is dumb. I already knew this that is, one. This is actually dumb. How does Corey get this every time? It's just pissing me <laughs> off, man. Motherfuckers be going to Yahoo, bro. Yeah, apparently, yeah. yeah. Oh, Chibli. And apparently, Facebook more than yeah. Instagram? I bet that's that, Am I crazy to think there, that I bet it's flip since The olds then. are on Facebook, man. And in 2020, Facebook was popping off. It's where I got a lot of my medical advice. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> it's cancer, Ryan. I got over 20k though, so I'm happy. Yeah, you guys are killing it. I have two slices. Oh, I, I got two solos. There's oh my god, I have the whole top of the board, bro. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> Jeez. I got a chance, man. I got a chance. I just, what the most unlikely thing in the world? Spin my two solos back to back. Oh, you Mouth, it's oh. you and me, bro. Oh. He's making fun of you because he's gonna win. What are you talking about? Nah, yeah, let me celebrate gonna roll. your he's points, Mouth, by right my winning speed. Yeah, okay, man, real cool. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for the 14th Dalai Lama. Oh, yeah, you know what? Good, deserved. good, good, because he asked that kid Tomatoes. to suck his tongue. Yeah, yeah, he's stuck <laughs> on kid tongue. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. It was a joke, though, right? Wow! Oh, wow! Does that mean I get double points there? Does that mean I get double points? Nope. No, no. They actually no. gave you one less point than this. Yeah, what the, the board. hell? <laughs> you, got the, you got the easy wheel, dude. No, no, no! I'm at the chance to win. Yeah. The Cory oh, sweep, bro. It's Dude, a fucking sweep, bro. He's a fucking wind spin in like ages. He's, a, he's the new villain. Ban him. Yeah, Ban him. yeah. Ban him from your chat. 
Which one though? Said, Green's the best. Said purple it's not even grapes. Close. Purple are way better. What are you they're, talking they're about? Oh. They're not called green grapes. They're green grapes. Are they called red grapes? They're called green grapes. I don't know. I've been out of the business so long. I didn't even see what so he long. said. I love you boys. I Goodbye. You. GG gamer. You're all free. Bye. You're all free. You're all free. Good gaming. Kate, are you ready to go live? This whole lizard thing was a bunch of bologna, huh? Or is the snow not supposed to start until later? It's minus one. It's gonna get cold as heck, man. No, no snow. It's gonna be like minus 12 tonight. Holy, <laughs> oh man. No joke, I was, uh, when I answered the door, when somebody knocked, I was like, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, why the heck did you salt the sidewalk? You're going to ruin my boots. But it was just a dude who came to the wrong house for some reason. Okay, I will send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy yourself. And I will see you tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going to be late. I have to run an errand in the morning. If we live in a just society, I would be like 1 to 1 1.5 hours late. But I have no, it has a variable length of time. It may take 45 minutes. It may take four hours. But I'll, I'll keep you posted. Later. Can you sing some genuine? Oh, you mean the burp song? Burp, 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 burp. I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner, someone who knows how to ride without trying to fall in love, got to be compatible, push it to the limit, be sure when I break it off, she's not gonna wanna get off. You're horny, let's do it. Riding on my pony, my saddles waiting. Come and jump on it. Like that, like that genuine song.